In this tutorial, we will learn how to extract any word from a text value basis on position by using VBA code or macro. For example, how to extract third, fourth or fifth word from a given text value. So let's understand this with very simple example. On this sheet, I have a text value in cell A2 and task is to extract third word from the given text or whatever value is there in cell A2. So right now it is the third word that is C and we can check here third word is C. So let's see what is the VBA code that we can use to perform this task. Let me delete this value. I will go to developer tab. Here we have this insert option. From ActiveX controls, I will select a command button and drag a command button here. And I will write VBA code on the back end of this command button. So that when I click on this command button, macro should be executed and task should be done. Let me right click on this command button. Go to properties, change caption, whatever you like. Let me write click to extract word. Let me change the font size and uh, make it to let's say 22. Now I'll close this property window and now we can double click on this command button. This will take us to VBA editor and we can write the VBA code for the click event of command button. Let's start writing VBA code. So first line I will write here dim my number as integer. So this is the variable where I will store a number like if we want to fetch third word from a given text value then I will store 3 as a numeric value in this variable. And then I'll write dim word brackets as a string. This variable is of array type where we can split any text or any sentence and store all the words which are there in that statement in this array kind of variable. Third is third line we can say dim word count as long here if in one statement or one text value there are 10 words then we want to store 10 in this value or in this variable now let's assign a number to first variable that is my number equal to 3 here in this example, we will extract third word. So I am initializing this variable my number equal to 3. And then next line I will write word equal to VBA dot split. Split is a VBA function. And this function is split any cell value. And in this statement, value is in cell A2. So all the words in that text value or a statement will be stored in word and word is a array type of variable. A split and then cell value is A2. So we can write in VBA in a simple statement like worksheets sheet name is sheet one dot cells for a2 row number is two column is one dot value comma and all the words are separated by space so i'll write like this i have made use of 
second variable now let's use the third variable so let me write word count equal to i will use a function called u bound and word so this will store a numeric value which will say how many words are there but in array what happens is value gets started from 0 so if there are 9 words in a statement then it will store a value as 8 we are almost there let me write the last line worksheets sheet 1 dot cells for cell b2 column is 2 sorry row is 2 and column is 2 dot value equal to word and then let's say if we have assigned text value to word what we want to fetch third word out of that value then we need to write my number which is stores already 3 minus 1 because word is a array type of variable if you want to understand more about the array type of variable and cell function which is a split function in VBA you can refer to one more tutorial that I have already uploaded on my channel and you can easily understand the split function as well as concept of array in VBA. I will just leave a link of that tutorial in the description. Let's check if this VBA code can give us third word in cell B2. So let me go to Excel sheet again. Here I will click on the design mode so that I am out of design mode and when I click on this command button we can see that third word is extracted from cell A2. So this VBA code is working perfectly fine but what about if we have large data set and how we can use the same VBA code to get the task done. So let's say if we have large data set it could be 1000 rows or whatever number of rows we have data so here let's say if we have data from row number 2 to row number 8 and data is in column a so what we can do just a small addition of code i can use for loop for i equal to 2 to 8 here i can say next and this i i can pass at two places one is this and here also now let's check this code i'll go to excel sheet click on this command button and we can see that it is working for all the rows because we have used for loop let me show the vba code again so that you can note down and practice this is useful for you and can help in different automation requirements while writing vba code if you have any question around this topic, write into comments and subscribe to my channel for more advanced VBA tutorials. Thank you.